Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm just going to be sharing a review on this box die over here. And if you want to see how I use it and what's inside, then please go check out my previous video. Um, but today I'm just going to share my thoughts. So this is the Swashkop palette hair dye and it's in 468 coffee brown. And this is deluxe oil care color. Um, and it's supposed to last up to six weeks with anti dull effect. So I'm going to talk a bit about these aspects of the hair dye. Um, but let me first start with what's in the box. So you get the developer and the color cream, which you mix together obviously to get the color. So basically the color came out exactly as planned. And I found that there was so much to go around that um, because I got this hair dye to cover my grays, I started off with my roots and I just focused on my roots and there was so much left to cover the rest of my hair, which was great. Um, and it did the trick, it covered all my gray hairs. There's not one gray hair inside, which is amazing. Um, but just one thing, if you are looking for a hair dye color um, to cover your grays or to get a completely new color, then you can just check out the back of the box over here and it shows you on each color what you can expect your hair to look like. So what it looks like now and what you can expect it to look like afterwards if you use this color. And all the boxes have those. Um, that's just if you're new to box dye. Um, and also, guys, if you have dark hair, and you are taking a blonde box dye. It's most likely not gonna come out blonde. Um, if you if it dies, you are very lucky. But you can't expect to dye dark hair with a light hair dye unless you bleach your hair first. Um, so my hair is naturally dark, so I can't go take a blonde hair box dye and expect it to work miracles. So I just wanted to tell you that because I know some people will try it and be so disappointed with the brand. But it's not because of the brand. You actually need to bleach your hair or something in order to get that lighter color because it's so much lighter than what you already have. So I just wanted to pop that in here and let you guys know how it actually works. Um, and then when I come to the Rich K mask, um, so with, with other brands, some brands don't include an aftercare um, in the form of a conditioner or a mask. And some brands do in the form of a conditioner. And with my experience, either they didn't add it before, or they've added like a bottle of conditioner that has enough for like three washes. Whereas this box has a packet of rich care masks, which you can save half of for your next wash. But I used all of it just to make sure I got to all of my hair. Um, so I think I would prefer if they just had a bit more rich care mask in the box. But with that being said, the Rich Care Mask was amazing. It left my hair feeling super soft and moisturized and just felt great afterwards. So it did the trick. It really cared for my hair after washing. Um, so I was really happy with everything in this box and the results and how my hair turned out. Um, so just about the anti dull effect, my hair definitely is not feeling and looking dull. It, it's shiny and it's soft and moisturized like I said before. It's deluxe oil care color so um, after that my hair my hair didn't feel very really dry and brittle um, which I loved. So I think that the um, oil care color really came through in this one and I really appreciated that. And also in the light you can see the coffee brown in my hair much more which I really love. So overall this just did an amazing job and I'm really happy with this product. And if you want to go check it out, it is in store in clips already, so you can go check it out. But yeah, I'm very happy with this, guys, and I think it's an amazing product. And if you used it before, or if you used Box Dye before, let me know your thoughts down below what your favorite brands are, how you feel about, felt about this product if you used it before, and just anything you want to drop. Drop it down in the comments. I look forward to reading them. So that's all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you back soon. Thank you for watching.